Welcome to another product feedback video. In this unboxing, we're going to take a look at the uh, EVGA X58 SLI LE edition. Um, this is X58 based chipset and is designed for the later i7 processors. We're running an Intel Core i30 on this, running it through a few benchmarks and hopefully overclocking a bit as well. So, we'll see how it performs. We'll get straight into it. Unbox it and see what it looks like. I've heard good things from EVGA. This is actually my first EVGA um, motherboard. Previously, or well, am a big fan of Gigabyte. I believe their products are very, very good. But in this case, we'll look at the EVGA. Shrink wrapped nicely, which is always good. You know, no one's opened up your product beforehand. Okay. EVGA uh, motherboard driver disc. You get the EVGA booklet, and we get a awesomely huge visual guide. Showing us what everything does, what everything means, which should be handy. Got to read through that before I put anything together. And the plating for the back of the computer case. The EVGA logo imprinted there as well. Actually, feels really solid. A lot of these um, things don't feel solid at all. Don't usually fit very well. You get three-way NVIDIA SLI. Not that I'll be necessarily using it, but possibility in the future. Another one. And another EVGA SLI connection. Awesome. You got your eSATA cable, I believe, there. Molex to power, con converters, a few other cables as well, and we also get a, oh, is this, is this what I think it is, well it's a, it's an expansion, so you've got a, you know, fly wire at the back and you've got two USBs, but I don't know if this is USB 3.0 or is it 2.0. I'll let you know, I'll put a comment or something in the video and I'll figure that out. Okay. This is the actual motherboard here. One of the most uh, underlooked product out there, I believe, by most consumers. Just put the box out of the way. Okay. Set this baby there. Just see the door. I've not seen a better looking motherboard than what we've got right here. Look at this heatsink. It's crazy. EVGA. Awesome. Awesome. And you've also got another heatsink here. Wow. And it tells you here it uh, supports triple channel DDR3. So we've got 1600 megahertz memory popping in there, seeing how that works as well. So we can overclock. So you've got some timer thing here showing you the sort of temperature or something. We'll have a look, we'll figure all that out when we look it up. Uh, four times PCI slots, mentions here exactly four times, you've got eight times, sixteen times, and uh, eight times on the bottom. So that's pretty good and nice looking slot there for the CPU. On the back of the motherboard, I'll show you all. We've got two USBs going from this to this. Two USBs, um, the older PS2 connection, coax, uh, optical, and another two USB, another two USB, another two USB. We've got plenty of USB and Ethernet, and we've got your uh, surround sound output microphone in as well. 
So you got plenty, you got an array of connections there. So we'll be definitely putting it run through its paces. I believe this is one of their better value for money motherboards. I don't even really see huge necessity to pay a lot more for the other one, apart from just some overclocking advantages, but this should overclock easily. So if you've got any questions, leave me a comment, I'll be more than willing to answer. And also, just to note, this is extremely well designed for cable management, as you can see here, the SATA pointing to the side, doesn't have to clip on top, and you've got your uh, 24 pin there. So, very good looking motherboard, I'll zoom in so you guys can see the awesome looking, awesome looking heatsink. And that nice red. I think the more expensive one, I think the more expensive one actually glows red, but this will do. Put some neons and LEDs in the computer and see how that goes. The heatsink there. So make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoyed this video and make sure you check out my channel because I'll have a whole bunch of uh, benchmarks, more videos on the system build that I've got and a whole array of different products I'll be using and you might find something that you really, really enjoy. So make sure you subscribe, comment and like too. Have a good one guys. Ciao. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed. Thank mm -hmm. you.